I am going to discuss the logarithmic differentiation. How can we use logarithmic differentiation? Those are the steps for the logarithmic differentiation. Step one, step one, take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation. Step two, differentiate both sides of the equation. I am going to give a simple example. So y equals x to the power 4. This is a simple power function. In fact, we don't need to use logarithmic differentiation for this one. Power rule will be would be easier, but I just want to demonstrate how to use it. Okay, so we take step one. Step one. Take the natural logarithm of both sides. So natural logarithm of y equal natural logarithm of x to the power four. So again, natural logarithm of y, 4 comes to the front, and then x. So we completed step 1. Let's go to step 2. What differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x? Okay. So this is the formula for derivative of logarithmic functions. So left side will be, if you remember, y prime over y equal 4 times 1 over x. So as you remember, if you multiply both sides by y, okay, first y prime equal 4 times y times 1 over x. Okay, as you remember, y equal uh, x to the power 4. So I replace y by x to the power 4, x to the power 4 times 1 over x. Okay, if I simplify this, I get y prime 4 x cube. Yeah, so as I told before, we don't need to use the method of logarithmic differentiation for this function. Uh, I just wanted to show the application. So this is a power function. If we use power rule, so power rule will be very easy. Y equal x to power 4. Y prime equal 4 x cubed. I am going to give another example. So y equals 4 to the power x. Yes, this is an exponential function. Actually, we don't need to use logarithmic differentiation to differentiate the exponential function. I just want to show the application of logarithmic differentiation. That is why I use this function. Okay, step one, again, take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation. So, natural logarithm of y equal natural logarithm of 4 to the power x. So, another step, and then y equal x come to the front, and then 4. Okay, so we finished the first step. Second step, differentiate implicitly of both sides. I forgot to say implicitly in the first example. Implicitly means if it is not just y, then we have to use implicit differentiation. So if I do second step, so left side y prime over y, the right side will be LNO4 because this is a number basically. Okay, so if I multiply both sides by y, I get y times LNO4. Okay, as you know, y is this one, so we replace y by this, y prime. 
equal to the power x times ln of 4. Okay. So, this is the final result of the derivative. Again, if I told before, it is easier to use the method of derivative of exponential functions. So if I use this method, y equal 4 to the power x. So remember, this is the formula for derivative of exponential function. This is the general formula. So y prime will be 8 to the power x ln o a. So in this example, a is 4. So this will be mm, get 4 to the power x ln o 4. So as you see, the second method is much easier. Previously, I have given two examples. One is y equal x to the power 4. Other one, y equal 4 to the power x. So this is power function, base variable exponent constant. This is exponential function, base constant, exponent is variable. In these two functions, we didn't need to use method of logarithmic differentiation. It, even it is more complicated. So, but I am going to give another example. Okay, in this example, this is the function. How can I get to uh, logarithmic differentiation? For this function, we have to use the method of logarithmic differentiation to differentiate because both base and exponent are variables. So again, how to differentiate? Step 1, for step 1, take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation. So natural logarithm of y equal natural logarithm of x to the power x. So x come to the front, x times ln of x. Okay, so we completed the step one. Okay, so to step two, step two, differentiate implicitly of both sides with respect to x. Okay, so if we differentiate, we can y prime over y. Okay, so if I use product rule, derivative of x one times ln of x plus x times derivative of ln of x, 1 over x. So if I continue, y prime over y, okay, ln of x plus 1, this x cancels out. Okay, if I multiply both sides by y, I get y prime equal y times ln of x plus 1. So y is this one. So I replace y by x to the power x ln of x plus 1. Okay, so derivative of this function finish. As I repeat again, because base and exponents are variable, we have to use method of logarithmic differentiation. I am going to give another example. Differentiate y equal 3x square minus 7 to the power 2x. So exponent is variable and base is also variable. Since base and exponent are both variable, we have to use the method of logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so step one, step one, take the natural logarithm of both sides. So ln of y equals ln of 3x square minus 7 
to the power 2x. So 2x come to the beginning as a multiplication. So ln of y equal 2x times ln of 3x square minus 7. Okay, so step 2. Differentiate implicitly both sides of the equation with respect to x. Okay, so left side will be 1 over y dy dx. This is another uh, derivative notation. Okay, I have to use product rule. So this is first one, this is second one. Derivative of first one is 2 times ln of 3x square minus 7 plus so this one first one times derivative of this one so as you know when we get derivative so we write same thing to the denominator 3x square minus 7 so derivative of this one go to the numerator so 6x okay so second step we have to get rid of this y so i multiply both sides by y and also 2 2 i can take this 2 out factor out okay so 2y ln of 3x square minus 7 plus okay so this become 6x square so i multiply these two 3x square minus 7 okay this last step since y equal this one i have to replace y by this dy over dx equal 2 times 3x square minus 7 to the power 2x bracket ln of 3x square minus 7 plus 6x square 3x square minus 7 okay so this is the final result of derivative of this function. Conclusions. We can use the method of logarithmic differentiation for all kinds of functions, but it is not practical to use this method for the functions such as those I have given in example 1 and 2. However, we have to use this method for the functions I given in example 3 and 4. Basically, we have to use method of logarithmic differentiation if a function like this both of them variable both base and exponent variable or base function exponent variable or both base and exponents are functions we can also use method of logarithmic differentiation a function a complicated function like this so if we use method of logarithmic differentiation, it will be very easy. Otherwise, if we don't use and if we use uh, normal method, combination of product rule, quotient rule or power rule, derivative process will be more complicated. I give more examples in my second video. Thanks for watching my video. I would welcome your comments and suggestions.